So this is how the task management Google Sheet template looks. It's easy to use, very simple and organized. I'll take you through the columns. So here you have the serial number. I already have the serial numbers from one to 21. You can add more rows, but I ideally advise to not add more than single digit tasks at a time. That's easy to monitor and focus on completing them. So here, the next table has, has the task. So you need to enter what is the task that you plan to do, and then mention the priority of the task. So it is high, medium, or low, and you have the color highlighting. So a red for high, amber for medium, and green for low, and then mention the estimated time required. So it doesn't have to be accurate. It could be a, a range that you think is possible. So a 45 minutes could also be 50 minutes, could also be 35, but put the best case or best guess that you have as estimated time that lets you plan which task you need to take up next, depending upon the priority and the time that you have on hand. And then you have the status. So uh, in status, I have a validation again. So done is when you complete the task. WIP is the active task which you're working on. That stands for work in progress. Then for some reason, if you have to cancel a task, you cancel the task. Or if you delegate it to someone, you say delegated. Or in case if you can't complete it as per the schedule, then you reschedule it. And again, I have color validation. So amber is for WIP. If you mark it done, then it's green. Canceled as a red color. Delegated is light blue. And then rescheduled. So right now, this is the first task which I'm working on. That's WIP. And I've also given a remarks column. And here you have a small dashboard that tells you the number of tasks planned, seven. So if I add another task, then this count becomes eight. Uh, it gives you the count of completed tasks. So if I complete this one, so I have completed one task that is 13%. So you can calculate the completion percentage. It takes the total count and it subtracts the count of delegated and canceled tasks. So right now it's 13%. And you also have a pie chart here that gives you a breakup of your status. So right now we only have one status mentioned done. So that's what it is. And it says no status for about 88% of the tasks. So let's say if I have completed my first task and if I start working on the next, which is WIP, then you see the pie chart gets updated. What if I cancel the other task? You again see the update. If I complete my another task, you could see the completion percentage is now 29%. So it's very easy to use. This could be a personal task uh, management sheet for you. And also when you complete a task, the task description gets struck off just to give you a remark, uh, a marker that, okay, this task has been completed. Now, in case if you want this task management sheet to be used for your team members, what you can do is you can create multiple copies of the sheet. So you can create multiple copies and you could rename each for each of your team members. So if you're a manager or if you're a small business owner on a single sheet in different tabs, you could go ahead and you can monitor the daily task schedule and completion percentage for each of your team members. So you could use it for your personal use or you could make it a team task management sheet and add different tabs for each team members. If you need further customizations, you can easily go ahead. It's not a protected sheet. In case if you need any help on what you need to add and how you need to do that, mention in the comments below, or you can always visit my website. The link is in the description and fill up the contact form. So thank you for watching the video and have a great day.